everyone? It's your boy Mata Lewis Team Real. Welcome to my channel where I call out fake YouTubers and talk about YouTube drama. A lot of drama going on and a lot of it isn't a lot so I thought today I was gonna be special and fit them in one video. We've got drama on Chandler Alexa's being arrested. We have Trisha and her slip up in her rape story and we have an update on Stephanie Bright and her shirt scam. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future drama regarding these people. And smash this video with the like. At the moment, I am getting online stalked and docs, so a lot of likes will be worth it. <laughs> it really would be. All this hate. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. So let's get straight into the drama. So as you guys know, I said if you give me a thousand likes, I would roast a Chandler Alexis and I have to apologize. Seriously could not find a lot of stuff that I already spoken about. I was like, that's all I got. It's like a two minute video. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna add it into this video. It's what I got. So, still gonna be good. You guys are gonna enjoy it. So let's begin. At the moment, Chandler Alexis is one of the biggest hypocrites on YouTube and she's been facing a lot of backlash and negativity because of her actions and what she's been putting out in the YouTube world. Disgusting. You're nasty. And I don't do that. I especially don't stay in someone's hotel room that I just met three days ago. That's disgusting. But that's not how I get around. I don't get around. Yes, I hang out with guys, but that's all I do, I hang out with them. Joel, you just hang out with them, Chandler Alexis? Okay, bye. <clears throat> what? Got a hickey in this clip. Turn your hair, please. Oh, and it looks like you're having some fun there. What else do you get up to, Chandler Alexis? Yes, I hang out with guys, but that's all I do, I hang out with them. Not only does she like to make other women feel bad and call them names, calls them out for things that she actually does. Last year she was making fun of this beautiful model named Illy Angel. Check her out on Instagram, tell her that Martin Lewis said what's up. Her and Simply Vanessa was, were saying things like, oh at least we don't have to put our bodies out there. But Chandler Alexis does the same thing. I get nightmares for the rest of my life. I've also made a video about her and her ex boyfriend, Ale Alex915, on YouTube. How there was drama between them. Chandler Alexis made a video crying and saying all this stuff, how she's scared and all that. Chandler forgot to mention one thing in that video. She was arrested. Yes, allegedly Chandler Alexis was arrested. A battery on former companion. Someone messaged this screenshot to Alex's Instagram and he replied with a love heart. So what does that mean? Allegedly she got out of bail for $5,000. This doesn't prove though that she is guilty of anything, all right? This is just an arrest. Obviously there's still a court case allegedly that's going on. They have to go through that. But it's just funny how her and Alex has left this out of the, you know, the You Now broadcast that he had and Chandler left it out in the video that she had. Chandler also has made a video talking about how she feels like quitting YouTube, that she's facing a lot of negativity on her channel. But does this girl realize what she puts out? And what's with those contacts? They make you look cross-eyed, girl. Embrace the brownness in your eyes. Seriously, why are girls getting contacts that make their eyes look cross-eyed? But what do you guys think about this whole situation? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's get on to Stephanie Bright. You guys know if you've seen my video, and by the way, every video that I mentioned, I put it at the end of this video, so you just have to click on it and watch it. Stephanie Bright used um, deceiving sell tactics to sell a shirt to her fans. 20% of it was going to charity, which is complete bull, because if you really do things for charity, you're really going to give only 20%. If you really care about the charity, I think you would give more. It seems to me that Mrs. Stephanie is an opportunist, and she's using charity to make money. And the problem is, she still, until this day, has not told anyone what charity she's going to give her money to. So, and that is illegal. She has not told you guys where she's giving this money to. Recently, Stephanie Bright posted this on her Facebook. 
Hi everyone, today is a bright day. I'm finally able to release some fantastic news. The final batch of I Stand with Trans shirts are being mailed out soon. They announced shortly. Hundreds have already been mailed out and many have received them. I understand the wait has been drastically long and I apologize. However, there are some left to be sent. If you haven't received yours and would like a, a full refund, all orders are tracked. Please email blah 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 with your order number to confirm and we will remove your package from our shipment. Keep in mind before she announced that she was gonna, everyone should have got their shirts early July, which she stated in July, she posted this on her Facebook wall. Mark my words, your shirts and orders are going to be 100% fulfilled. Shipment is early July 2017. Please stop the accusations of me being a thief. I've not stolen, just faced a major delay in shipping your product that currently physically exists. I'm not a scammer and I will complete my duties as a business to those who pay for their merchandise. If any of you do not receive your shirts by that time frame, I have stated a will guaranteed be refunded. If you do not believe me, please screenshot this status. Keep this status as proof of your records if you must. Thank you. Some people have actually emailed her this which you will get into it. Someone commented on one of her feeds saying, I just seen two people comment asking where their shirt is and when I go to comment it says their comments have been removed. That's not right. Anybody else seeing that? Completely wrong and unethical. You can't be doing that. Why are you doing that? Why are you handling this the way you're handling it? Don't blame it on your hormones or whatever. You can't do that, man. Stephanie Bright says, exactly. Seeing so much negative has brought me to a dark place, but I realize that the negative is not worth the acknowledgement. We all make mistakes and learn from them. I will make sure to see positive and not involve myself in negative anymore. And sorry, I'm going to have to add a voiceover, but seriously, in this part here, when she's like, seeing so much negativity has brought me to a dark place, this is the negativity that you're putting out. You can't even tell people what charity you're giving to. You still haven't told anyone. You can't blame these other people for their concern for your negativity because you choose not to take responsibility and you choose not to tell people what's up and what's going down properly. She also said this, people are impatient. Oh, gee, I wonder why. Maybe because you promised that you were going to deliver the shirts on a particular month and you never did. It's been like four or five months now. Are you serious? They don't know what I've been battling over the last little while and I'm in a no way feel the need to address my personal situation. However, I am now able to allow refunds for those who can't wait. It's fair for all. Thanks for being so kind and attentive. You don't have to explain your personal life and all that, you know, even though you say you love your fans and everything, but you should at least dress it and speak to them and go, look, there's a few situations happening. I'm not going to get into it, but you will get your shirts. And it seems like you were avoiding the pink elephant in the room. Someone emailed Stephanie saying, hey Stephanie, this is the third time I emailed you. You can issue me a refund and mail the shirt as per your words. You will not punish your fans due to your incompetence. News outlets are aware, LGBT communities are aware, and how are people you block supposed to know how to get their money back? But who cares as long as you do right by you, right? You have 24 hours to issue this refund or an explanation before I hop onto the class action lawsuit bus. Thank you for your time. When people get threatened with lawsuits, they usually answer back, which is what Stephanie did. Thank you for your email, your order, blah, 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 for 29 US that was placed on April the 10th has been refunded. Please allow five to seven business days based on your debit credit card company to process the refund. Thank you and have a wonderful day. She then goes, oh good, now you just owe blah, blah, a shirt or an apology. I need time to breathe, but I'm officially done living in the darkness. There are so many people who love respect what I put out. There are so many things to look forward to in life. I need to stay positive and thankful. I will never lose focus on that. I will learn from my mistakes. It's time to fulfill my duties and do what I do best. Be creative, spread love and acceptance for all. Stephanie, are you going to tell us the charity yet? That's one of the big mistakes you did, not telling anyone who the charity is. Hashtag Stephanie Bright, what charity? Let's get that trending now on Twitter, man. What the hell is going on? 
people are fed up with Stephanie, they're fed up with being deceived, they're fed up with being lied to, that they created a Facebook group page. Stephanie Bright, we want our money back. Yeah, I want my, oh, no, I'm just kidding, I never bought a shirt. Stephanie Bright owes you guys a huge explanation and she needs to tell you what charity the money's going to because right now it looks like a scam. Now let's move on to the next drama, Clarissa May. That name, Clarissa, is very hard to pronounce for me. <laughs> Clarissa May is an 18-year-old YouTuber from the United States with over 500,000 subscribers. Clarissa has gained her fame from Instagram and YouTube with her talents of dancing beauty. Recently she had made a video called Your Favourite Social Media Star is a Rapist. Check out what she said in her video. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna dive right into stories about the most followed guy on social media. I think I'm pretty sure that this dude is like the most followed guy out there. Like you probably follow him. You probably know who he is and you probably think he's a great, wonderful, fabulous person. And She's saying this guy is like the most followed guy out there. You know what I'm saying? Already a lot of our minds and everything are like, oh my god, who is this? It can't be PewDiePie because he ain't in America. Or was it? So a lot of people are making assumptions, you know, the Logan and Jake Paul is, or if it's rice gum. Kind of person who locks girls out on his balcony in the freezing cold weather at night for several hours, for four hours I think it was, and tells them that they can't come back inside into his apartment unless they take off their shirt. The only two people I know that have a balcony is Logan Paul and rice gum. A lot of people were like, oh my god, this is Logan Paul or it's rice gum due to the tags that she left on her video but looking at her other videos I realized that she does use Logan Paul and Jake Paul in other videos as well it wasn't just that specific video so obviously she's using that game uh, you know those names to gain more traffic onto her channel now with an interview with scarce she blamed it on her manager and maybe it's true maybe the manager did tell her yeah, put these names in the tag, but it's just a bit. She ended up commenting on that video, clarifying to everyone that it wasn't Logan Paul or Jake Paul. I forgot. Anyway, in this interview with Scarce, she slipped up. Now, in her original video, she said she went upstairs or whatever, and she was near the door. The door was locked, and she could hear her friend saying no. I remember one of the bedrooms was locked. I couldn't go inside and I heard noises coming from inside and I heard a girl saying no over and over and over again. And I recognized that girl's voice as Susan and there was nothing I could do. My friend told me I was overreacting. But then in the interview with Scash, she said she found out later. She apparently had been pulled, pushed, whatever, into a room by this influencer and she had been raped and I found out about this afterwards. She was acting very, very weird. You know, she wanted to leave the party and so we left and she told me exactly what had happened and um, it, I was just, I was honestly in shock. I mean, I would never think, you'd never really think that something like this would happen to you or to your friend, you know? So there you have it. She said she found out afterwards, but then she said, oh my God, I heard it and I told my friend and my friend said I was overreacting. Are we, am I taking her out of context here? Maybe I am. I don't know, but it looked like she changed her story. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, I know you're guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell, because if you don't, I'm going to disappear and never go on YouTube again. No, I'm just kidding. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.